Hey guys, what's up? Captain Magma 1680 here with another video. Before we start this Godzilla build, I want to say thank you to all my 10 subscribers. I really appreciate all the support that you've given me um, in these uh, past, what is it, two months my, ch my channel has been running? I don't know, it's somewhere around there. So, um, thank you very much for all your support, and um, now let's get into the build. So, first, we'll be starting off with the head, just like all my other builds. So, here are the pieces you'll be needing. And you can always pause the video if you need time to look for the pieces. So, let's get started building. First, you're going to want to take this 2x3. And take a 2x2. Two two, put it on top. Then take a 1x2 grill bar piece, whatever this is. And put that on top like that. Then you're gonna want to take a one by two with a ball joint and then put it on the back just like that. Then take two of these round studs, one by one studs, put those two in the middle like that. Then you're gonna want to take um, two um, of these cheese slopes and put them on the back on top of the. Uh, one by two ball joint on either side. Then you're going to want to take another two and put them facing the opposite direction to make him look like he's angry. And then you're going to want to take a one by two and then a one by two with a bar and put the one by two on top of that. Then you're going to want to take a one by one with a clip and put it upside down under like that. And then you're going to want to take the top of the head, put that under like that, oh. <laughs> and there you have the head all done. So here are the pieces you'll be needing for the neck. So let's get started. First you'll take a 2x2 two two with a ball joint socket, and then you're going to want to take a 1x2, flip, turn this over, put that underneath. Then you're going to want to take a, I think this is called a bracket, I might be wrong, and put that on the front like that. Then you're going to want to take a, these um, other two brackets, put them on either side, like that. Then you're going to want to take a 2x4, put it on top, and then take a 1x2 with a socket. And then put it like that, and then take a one by two and put it on top. Now to start out with the dorsal plates, you're gonna want to want to take two of these um, round one by one uh, studs, and they're kind of hard to get in, so I might need to do it off camera. Here, let me try the other one. Yeah, they're hard to get in. I'll do it off camera, and I'll see you soon. Now, to finish off the neck, you're going to want to take it, and then take a cheese slope, put it on the one closest to this piece, and then you're going to want to take this um, triangle piece, and then put it on the end like that, closest to the back, and there you have the neck all done. Now, to make the arms, here are the pieces you'll be needing. So let's get started. First, you're going to want to take this Hero Factory slash Bionicle piece. And then take another one that's similar to it, except black. doesn't have that ball joint, and it has a different ball joint from that. So a lot of differences. So connect it like that. And you're going to want to take a number 5 plate. Put it on top like that. And then if you have this um, piece in black, I suggest you use it. I lost mine. I don't know where it went. Um, so find one in black, and then that will be the arm in the hand. And make another one, and there you go. So here are the pieces you'll be needing for the leg and the foot. So let's get started building. First, you're going to want to take another one of these pieces, 
It can be gray, but I just chose this see-through purple one since it's a little bit darker. Then you're going to want to take one of these pieces. It's just like that, but with a different ball joint. And then connect it. Then you're going to want to take another number five um, piece or plate and put it on top like that. Then you're going to want to take a number six, one of these. This came in one of the Darth Vader um, Star Wars Bionicle Slash Hero Factory set. And it, it kind of looks like scales, so that's why I used a lot of it. So connect it like that. Now to make the foot, you're going to want to take a 2x2 two two with a ball joint socket. Then take a 1x2, it's kind of like a 2x2, two two, it's kind of like... A triangle piece and then put it like that and you're going to want to take two jumper plates put it like that put this off to the side and you're going to want to take a two by three and a one by two put the one by two in the middle then take three of these one by two triangle pieces and put one in the middle and the other two on either side like that. Then you're going to want to take three cheese slopes and put them on top of the triangle one by twos. And then take this piece and this piece, put this one on top, and turn it. Here you got the foot, here you have the leg. Connect the foot to the leg, mirror that build, and there you have the two legs. Or Godzilla. So here are the pieces you'll be needing for the tail. So let's get started building. First, you're going to want to take this very, very long um, Hero, Sex, Hero Factory slash Bionicle piece. And then have these two pieces. And then just put it together and put that at the end. And make sure these circles are up, because then you're going to want to take one of these pieces, put it right here, and then another one, and put it right there. Then you're going to want to take one of these, with a hole in it and a different ball joint, connect that to the end. And then, with that hole, you're going to want to put a one of these uh, stud pieces, put it right there, then take a 2 by 3 put it on top, and then take a, another stud piece, and put it on the top, one of those, and then take this um, like claw piece, put it right there, and there you have about half of the tail. And now for the other half, you're going to want to take one of these pieces, and then you're going to want to take two of these pieces, put one there and one here. Like that, then you're going to want to take one of these, and then closest to where that ball joint is, you're going to want to put um, a one by one brick, and then um, you're going to want to take two two by six pieces, and then take two um, two by four pieces, put the two by four on the two by six like this, make another one. And then put those on either side of um, this part of the tail, like that. Then you're going to want to take a 2x6 and put four of those light gray pieces like that. I did it off camera, so um, I didn't need to spend a lot of time on camera. And then take two of these triangle pieces, put oops, put both of them on top like that, and then put this on top like that. You're going to want to connect that um, stud onto um, that hole. So just line that up, put it on. And then make another one 
like that. And then take two cheese slopes, take the one you already built, put them on. And so it'll look like this. And then you connect it so that the one with the cheese slopes are in front of that one. And then take this one, put it on the end like that. And there you have the whole gigantic tail. It's huge. Here are the pieces you'll be needing for the body. So let's get started building. First you're going to want to take this um, bionicle skeleton piece. Then take one of these round studs, put that at the bottom there. Turn it around, take one of these bricks with two studs on either side. Put one on the same side, or on the same area, but on the other side. Then take another one of those and put it at the top. Now put that off to the side. You're going to want to take a 2x3, um, turn it over, take a 1x2, put it at the bottom, and then another 2x3, and put it like that. So it looks like that. Then you're going to want to take two 1x2s, put them right there, then take a 1x6, put it in the middle, and take two 1x4s, put that on either side, then take a 2x3 and put it on the top. This may look very familiar to any of you that watched my um, other dinosaur videos. Then you're going to want to take a um, 4x6 and then take a 2x6, put the 2x6 on top like that. Then take 4 um, jumper plates like that. And then on the, um, one sec, I forgot a piece. Yeah, there you go. Got it. On one of the, on both the, um, two jumper plates, there you go, like that, you're gonna wanna put two gray one by twos. Now, here comes the tricky part the dorsal, the dorsal uh, plates. So, first, you're gonna wanna take a, um, triangle piece with a, um, uh, stud, and then you're going to want to take a cheese slope and put it on top. Then you're going to want to make three other of the exact same of those. And then for this one, you're just going to want to put a cheese slope on top of that. And then make another one of these, except with the cheese slope facing a different direction. And then you're going to want to take the one facing a different direction and put it um, at the bottom, like that. Then you're gonna wanna take the other one, put it at the top. Then you're gonna wanna take these and put them all like that. Then you're gonna wanna take two one by two bricks. Don't don't have them like that, move them back one like that so that they match up with this uh, dorsal plate. Do that on either side, and now it's time to connect the body. First, um, connect the underside piece, then the um, top piece, connect it all like that, and um, there you have the body. If you want, you can make Godzilla's Lego heat ray. Atomic heat ray. So, that's pretty cool. And also, um, you're able to, well, when you assemble him, this is what it'll look like. And also, uh, I made a mistake on his back, and to fix that mistake, you're going to want to move these two dorsal plates up one stud, and these four dorsal plates down one stud. And then, you, then your Godzilla will be fixed. And so, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. And as always, turn on the notification bell. Go vote for this guy on Lego Ideas in about a month if you want to make him an actual Lego set. Which would be super duper awesome. And, uh, yeah. So, um, have a safe 2020, and I'll see you later. Goodbye.